It's time, time, time for Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Helping to get your day started right. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day in this brand new month. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Friday, July 1st, 2016. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, Thank God for this day. Commit this day to Him. Use this day to bring glory and honor to our Lord. And use this day to share your faith with someone and encourage someone in their walk. And while you're at it, give God praise because He is worthy of all of our worship, all of our praise, and all of our thanksgiving. Our scripture reading today is taken from the book of Proverbs, chapter number 4. It's verses 25 through 27. Scripture says, put away from these... Wrong verse. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. Friends, as as, as the writer finishes up chapter 4 of the book of Proverbs, he's, he's encouraging us to to keep our eyes focused on Jesus, keep it focused on the path that he has for us. He says in verse 25, let thine eyes look right on and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. We need to keep our eyes focused on the path of the will of God for our lives. We need to be focused on what he wants us to do. We need to be focused on where he wants us to go. That's why the writer is saying, hey, let thine eyes look right on. Keep looking centered. He says in verse 26, Ponder the path of thy feet. You know, as you're traveling, as you're walking and doing what God has called you to do, lead, walking down the path that he has for you, you need to make sure that, that each step you take is a step on the path that he has. Because verse 27 tells us, Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. we got to stay right on the center of the path, not veering off to the right, not veering off to the left, and getting off center. Because by getting off center, that means we're getting off of the will of God. And he tells us in verse 27, to remove thy foot from evil. You know, in the book of Joshua, chapter number 1, uh, when God is is talking to Joshua and appointing him as the new leader of of the nation of Israel, of the Israelites, and as they're they're getting ready to go in and take possession of their promised land, God tells Joshua to make sure that he stays focused on that book of the law, and he says, don't turn from it to the right hand or the left. And we see it here again in the book of Proverbs, don't turn to the right hand or to the left, but ponder your footsteps. And verse 26 says, and let all thy ways be established. Friends, God's going to establish the path he has for you. He did it for Joshua, and you can look at the rest of the book of Joshua and see how God led him and and helped them succeed and, and, and gave them the promised land. Why? Because Joshua kept focused on the path that he was on. He didn't veer to the right or to the left. And friends, we today need to be focused on the path that God has for you. We need to ponder our footsteps. We need to make sure we keep focused on it. We need to make sure that each step we take is a step on the path so that we don't fall into evilness by getting a little off center. Friends, as we enter into this long holiday weekend, what is what is your focus on? Is your focus staying on the path that God has for you? Or is your focus going off the beaten path and and doing your will and your desires? Think about that as you go through this day and remember get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day.